In this video, I want to show you exactly how glutamine can make or break how you feel after a stressful day at work or after a hard night out. I'm going to show you some steps that you can use to use glutamine, just a simple amino acid supplement, to absolutely feel rock solid after a night of drinking, but also to recover from a crazy week at the office so you have the energy in the weekend to get done what you want to get done. But first off, what exactly is glutamine? I mean, you've probably seen it on the shelves before. You've seen it at GNC, you've seen it at the other supplement stores, and it's a pretty basic abundant amino acid when you're looking on the shelves. But really what it is, glutamine is the most abundant amino acid in the human body. It's one of the master amino acids that really regulates a lot of function within the body. And glutamine specifically aids a lot in digestive health and it also aids a lot in preserving muscle. So if you're on a diet and you're trying to preserve as much muscle as you can while still burning fat, Glutamine is an awesome supplement for that, but there's a lot of things about glutamine that people don't really address, especially the general supplement industry and the general uh, fitness and weight loss industry don't really talk about. And that's the fact that glutamine fuels the brain. Glutamine is one of the only components that can cross the blood-brain barrier and give the energy to the brain that it needs. So for example, the brain typically runs on glucose, but it also runs on glutamine. So glutamine quite literally is a fuel source for the brain. But when we're talking about a situation where you're generally eating a lower carbohydrate diet and your blood glucose might be a little bit lower, your brain is really thriving on that glutamine for energy. So glutamine, just to reiterate, is one of the few compounds in the entire universe that can actually cross the blood-brain barrier and give your brain the energy that it needs. But what's really interesting and what the overall purpose of this video is, is to address how glutamine or the lack of it really reacts in your body, especially after a night out of drinking. So what's interesting is when you drink alcohol, it temporarily blunts the release of glutamine. So it stops the production of glutamine within your body. Your body is no longer producing that amino acid that normally gives your brain energy, that normally helps preserve muscle mass, and usually helps digestive health. So you're stuck with basically no glutamine at the time. And that's not really the big issue. Sure, when you're lacking glutamine and you're drinking, you can feel a little bit fatigued, you can feel a little bit lethargic, but usually you've got enough of a buzz that's gonna overshadow that a little bit. The buzz from drinking alcohol is gonna kind of supersede the drowsiness that you may get from a lack of glutamine. But here's what really happens, and here's kind of the caveat, is once you stop drinking, the body tries to reproduce how much glutamine was lost. So the fact that you were without glutamine for a while, your body says, well, wait a minute, we need to produce as much glutamine as possible to make up for what wasn't being produced. It's called a glutamine rebound. And this glutamine rebound sends a surge of glutamine to the brain. And if you remember what I just said, glutamine fuels the brain. It actually gives energy to the brain. So when the brain gets that extra surge of glutamine, it stimulates it, it gets it really wired up. And the crazy thing is that normally after drinking, your body's fatigued. Your body's fatigued because you've been walking around, you've been burning up muscle glycogen, and you're just flat out feeling the effects of alcohol, so you wanna pass out or take a nap. But what's insane is that your brain is still moving crazy. Your brain is still moving at warp speed because it's stimulated by all this glutamine. So even when you're asleep and your physical body's asleep, your brain is still wired up. It's still running crazy like you're wide awake. In fact, it's probably running through all kinds of different subconscious cycles that you don't even know of. Maybe you're having crazy dreams after you drink. Have you ever experienced that? But here's the kicker. When you wake up in the morning, you're totally exhausted. You're wiped out because you have no energy left. Your brain's been running all night. So that glutamine rebound has triggered your brain to function all night, even while your physical body is sleeping. So how do you overcome this issue? How can you sort of manipulate the use of glutamine or manipulate your body's stores of glutamine so you don't get that anxiety in the morning after a night of drinking or maybe you don't get that lethargy that you get the next day after drinking? You can't reduce that entirely because there is a little bit of a toxic effect to drinking, but you can definitely mitigate some of it. And although there's no real science to back up what I'm about to say in terms of research studies specifically on this topic, I've used it with a lot of my clients and it's worked effectively. If you just simply take a couple grams of glutamine spread throughout the day with different meals, you can sort of restore your body's natural levels of glutamine so that the drop isn't going to be as intense when you do start drinking. So in theory, what you'd want to do is on a night that you know you're going to have a couple of drinks is you're going to want to supplement with a couple grams of glutamine with each meal throughout the day. Now again, there's no guarantee that that'll prevent you from having a hangover but it'll at least keep the levels of glutamine elevated in your body so you don't have that dramatic crash later on. In the end, glutamine can also help curb the addiction to alcohol in the first place. So 
If you're wanting to start to reduce the amount of alcohol that you consume in the first place, it may be something you want to consider taking anyway. In a study by Kenneth Blum at the University of Texas, it was found that by giving test subjects an isolated supplement of L-glutamine at a dose of one to two grams per meal per day, there was a dramatic reduction in alcohol intake. And the correlation between glutamine ingestion and alcohol consumption being reduced has to do with the reduction of underlying depression within the human brain. So what I'm trying to say is that a lot of times there can be an underlying issue of depression that is making it much easier to become addicted to alcohol or any other substance for that matter. So in the same way that glutamine stores are depleted when you drink alcohol, they're also depleted with chronic bouts of exercise or with chronic amounts of stress or also if you're just starting a new diet and weight training or diet and a cardio program. It can deplete your glycogen stores and it can deplete your glutamine stores just the exact same way. So the best thing that you can do is begin supplementing with a gram or two with each meal. Glutamine is naturally occurring in the body so you're not going to overdose on it. Whatever you don't use, your body's just going to excrete out. So give it a shot and hopefully it's going to let you rebound from a chronic week of stress, rebound from a night out of drinking, and get back to the grind so you can increase that bottom line and get in the best shape of your life.